Hi. I want to tell you some things uh, that um, people discovered after Weinberg wrote his book, The First Three Minutes, which is an optional book for this online course. This book is probably the best book written, the best popular book about physics and astronomy that's ever been written. And so I urge you all to, to read this book. Um, and the, uh, there will be an online exam that's optional, because the book is optional. And you can only get, you can only improve your grade by taking that uh, exam. What I want to tell you now, though, is uh, just a few things about the book and some things that were discovered after Weinberg wrote the book. Uh, remarkably, everything that Weinberg said in the book is true, because Weinberg is probably, he's certainly one of the best physicists of our time. Um, but let me tell you, let me give you a brief description of, of the book and then of some new things that have been discovered subsequently to the writing of the book. Um, the universe started, the known universe started about 14 billion years ago. 13.8 is a more accurate number. Um, it started out very, very hot, hotter than one can imagine, and has been cooling off ever since. It's been also, it also was extremely dense, and it's been expanding ever since. Um, after, after about... Um, three minutes, the universe was mostly um, uh, hydrogen and helium. And um, after about 500 million years, uh, stars formed out of the hydrogen gas and helium gas that collapsed and formed stars. These stars then uh, evolved and uh, exploded as supernovas and blew the heavier elements, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, all the way up to lead, iron, lead, uranium, uh, into the universe. Subsequent stars then formed from all this debris, planets formed from the debris, and that's where we are now. Um, about the, the, the original hot, dense period is called the Big Bang, and about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled enough so that photons could travel long distances without colliding with electrons or other uh, object. And so they traveled freely, and we now detect, can detect them in microwave, uh, teles microwave antennas, and they're now, they correspond now to photons of, three, of a temperature of 3 degrees Kelvin. Um, Whereas uh, when they first, uh, when the universe first became transparent, 380,000 years after the Big Bang, they were uh, temperatures of thousands of degrees uh, Kelvin. So let me tell you some more things that have been uh, discovered, uh, that have been discovered since the Big Bang, namely that the energy content of the universe, far from being the atoms and molecules that we know about, is actually something that's completely mysterious. We call it dark energy. We know that it uh, exists because for the last three and a half billion years, the universe has been accelerating. The expansion of the universe has been accelerating. And um, what can drive acceleration, the acceleration of the expansion, is the presence of dark energy everywhere, the presence of an energy density everywhere, of uh, uh, everywhere in space. And that's 68% of the energy of the known universe is this unknown stuff that we call dark energy. Moreover, we also know that there is matter that doesn't interact with the electron, with photons, doesn't interact with light. We can't see it. But we can see its effects. 
and we call that dark matter, and that's 27% of the energy density of the universe, of the energy in the universe. The stuff we know about, the stuff that makes up you, me, the earth, the sun, the stars, this is only 5% of the energy in the universe. Um, this energy density of the universe has varied with time. When the universe was very hot, the energy, the energy of the universe was mostly radiation, and that lasted for about 50,000 years. Then it was mostly matter, dark matter mainly, and ordinary matter, and that was the main energy density for um, uh, until uh, 10.3 billion years had passed. For the last three and a half billion years, the main energy content of the universe is this dark energy, which is uh, the present situation, and that is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. I think that's about enough for today, so let's stop this now.